All right. Okay. I'm with Sam at Quartz Reef, and Sam, you're in charge of all the viticulture here, right? Yeah, that's the biodynamic side. Yeah. All right. So I've never been to, I mean, I've been to many biodynamic vineyards and talked to people, but I've never seen this sort of little treasure that you're going to show me here. Yeah, this, so this is the preps barrel, and in here we keep everything, we make all of our own preps here. So this is 502. This is yarrow flowers that go in the stag's bladder. They're hung in sunlight for about four or five months, and then they get buried in the ground for six months. So that's 502. Buried in the cow's horn? No. No, not that. 502 is in the stag's bladder. Is in the stag's bladder, that's right. 500 is in a cow's horn. 501 is the ground up silica in a cow's horn. 502, the yarrow. 503, and here somewhere is chamomile. Here's the treasure chest. So that's chamomile flowers. Mm. We make sausages out of. Does that chamomile. smell like chamomile? No, not anymore. Mm -mm. So that's ca we grow the chamomile flowers over there. Five hundred four are the nettles. Five hundred five is the oak bark in the cow skull. And and I want to show the cow skull because you actually use a cow skull. Tell me about this. Yeah, we use a cow skull as the vessel. So it's an organic cow. No, no animals are harmed in the making of these preps, but it's a cow that's going to be killed anyway, and these parts would go in the offal pit. So we reuse parts that would otherwise be wasted. We take the skull, we, we skin it, we, put, we have to take the brain out, but on a cocktail spoon is quite a good one for that. <laughs> And then we put our ground up oak bark in, we plug it up, and we put it in a swamp for six months. And I, and I want to show they've got actually a, that other barrel up there has the cow's head sort of floating in it. Yeah, okay. we don't have a swamp, so uh, we make okay. our own. And this is the last one. This is valerian. And I wish you had smell vision Have a sniff of that. Okay. So this is valerian flowers in rainwater. Ooh. You can really smell that, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it smells sort of methoxyparazine, mm -hmm. that pea, pea smell. It does, absolutely. And they call this Victorian Valium. <laughs> it's a very, very strong sedative. <laughs> so, yeah, we make all of those. And they, they what helps the sunburn? What do you put on for the, the sunburn? For sunburn? Don't you, isn't it something like, uh, it's not aloe or, oh, is it? Oh, yeah, aloe. Yeah. yeah. It is aloe vera. And the other thing we make is CPP, which is cow pat pit. Do you want to look at that? Cow poop pit? Cow yeah. what? Cow pat pit. So okay. these are 21 cow pat pits. I'll show you, show you what we... Uh... Wow. So here is, here's one we made fairly recently. I'll just show you. Okay. So this is cow pats. Organic cow pats, you can see it is still fairly green. You Fa see fairly, fairly poop, -y, yes. Full, full of worms. Mm -hmm. And we also put basalt dust, organic eggshells, and all of those compost preps we just saw. Mm -hmm. After, if you walk. But there's no odor. The, the really? Is, there's a little bit. If I got closer if to you it, got maybe? Close, close, it still smells of cow poop. If you come down here. Okay, going through. So if you do this right. Oh my god, look at that. So this. It's just gorgeous, that's gorgeous right. and sort that, of soil, huh? That's right, and that has no odor. But what it does have is microbes. It has nothing, no odor at all. It's completely full of microbes, good microbes. So I think of this as natural yogurt <laughs> for the soil. We heat up water, we get it to blood temperature, we put it in, we put about 2 kgs per hectare, because we can, because we make enough, we stir it, and then we put it out. And if you're very biodynamic, you believe that whatever's happening in the cosmos on that particular day, every time you break the water, all that goodness goes into the barrel. I can't prove that, I can't disprove it, it's a lovely, lovely thought. But scientifically, what's happening, you've got blood warm water, you've got microbes, and you've got oxygen. 
So when those microbes hit the soil, they're in perfect condition. And I have to tell you, if the quartz weef rinds are any indication that biodynamics works, then I'll tell you biodynamics works.